everyone. I am Sai Gadayas of TKM College of Engineering, Kollam. Today, I am here to demonstrate the working of common emitter configuration. Transistor characteristics are the plots that represent the relationship between current and voltage of a transistor in a particular configuration. A transistor can be connected in any circuit in any of the following configurations, namely common emitter, common base and common collector. Common emitter configuration is the most frequently used one since it provides voltage gain, current gain and power gain more than unity. The name common emitter configuration is because the emitter is made common to both input and output. Input signal is applied across base and emitter and the output signal is taken across collector and emitter. Common emitter configuration is also called downward emitter configuration. By considering the transistor configuration circuits analogous to two port networks, they can be analyzed by using characteristic curves. Input characteristic curve is a plot between input current and input voltage keeping output voltage constant. Output characteristic curve is a plot between output current and output voltage keeping input current constant. This is the connection diagram for common emitter configuration. This is our transistor BC107. We apply a voltage here. Corresponding voltage drop appear across this potentiometer. By varying the potentiometer, we can have different values for base emitter voltage, which is measured using this voltmeter. This ammeter is used for measuring base current IB, which is of micro ampere range. On the other side, we apply a variable voltage. Some voltage drop across this resistance and the remaining voltage drop appear across this collector emitter terminal which is measured using this voltmeter. This ammeter is used for measuring the collector current IC. For obtaining the input characteristics of this configuration, output voltage VCE is held constant, the input voltage VBE is varied and the corresponding IB values are measured. Similarly, for obtaining the output characteristics, the input current IB is held constant, the output voltage VC is varied and the corresponding IC values are noted down. This is our connected circuit. This is the input supply voltage. This is rheostat. This measures input current IB and this ammeter measures output current IC. Now, both these multimeters are used as voltmeters for the measurement of VBE and VCE respectively. Now, let's move on to input characteristics. For that, output voltage VCE should be held constant. This represent VCE. Initially, let that be zero. So all these values are zero. Now we are varying this. This input voltage is fixed at one volt. It is fixed at one volt. Now the port is changed. Now we can see that variation VB is there. Correspondingly, IB also vary. When VB becomes 0.5 volt. There is a rapid increase in base current. So the cut in voltage is about 0.5 volt. Now let's move on to input characteristics. For that output voltage VCE should be held constant. This represents VCE. Initially let that be zero. Now this input supply voltage is held constant at 1 volt. Now we are varying the potential with varying the rheostat. So that initially there is no current value. As we change the potentiometer, VB begins to increase. Corresponding values are noted. For 0.5 volt, we get 10 microamperes. When VB becomes 0.6 volt, we can see a rapid increase in base current IB. So that the cut in voltage obtained here is 0.5 volt. Now let's change this VCE for that supply voltage. Let that be. Now, VC is held constant at 3 volt. Now, we are again varying the potentiometer so that initially there is no IB. As we increase the VBE, when it becomes 0 0.5 volt, there is a slight increase in base current. When it becomes about 0 0.7 volt, we can see a rapid increase in base current so that when we increase the VCE, the cut-in voltage have increased from 0.5 volt to 0.7 volt. Corresponding values are noted down and the input characteristics that's about output characteristics. For that, input current must be held constant. Let it be 20 microampere first. 
Now, the output voltage VC is varied and corresponding IC values are noted down. Increasing VC slightly. When VC equal to 0.5 volt with IB at 20 microampere, we can see IC equal to 4 milliampere. Now, increasing this VC slightly. When VC is about 1 volt with IB held at 20, IC held at 20 microampere, we can see that IC equal to 5 milliampere. On further increase of VCE, we will get constant output current value that is IC equal to constant. Here in this case, it is 5 milliampere. So now we will change this IB, let it be 40 microampere. Again, VC, VC is varied. VC is varied from 0. When VC equal to 1 volt with IB held at 40 microampere, we get IC equal to 9 milliampere. On further increase of VC, when VC is equal to 1.3 volt with IB held at 40 microampere, we get IC equal to 10 milliampere. We can see that if we increase VC further, there will be no change in IC. That is, IC will be held constant. Here the value is 10 milliampere. Now the corresponding graph is plotted. Using the above noted values, the input characteristics and output characteristics can be plotted. Roughly, it can be sketched as. VEB is plotted on x-axis, IB is plotted on y-axis. The corresponding graph can be obtained as So, this one represents the case of VC equal to 0 volt and this graph represents VC equal to 5 volt. The tangents to the graph can be drawn to get the cut-in voltage for the first case cut-in voltage was 0.5 volt and for the second case it was 0.7 volt so this is the corresponding input characteristics from this graph input impedance can be obtained ri is equal to change in input voltage by change in input current that is delta vbe by delta IB. Next is output characteristics. Output characteristics can be plotted with output voltage VC on X axis, output current IC on Y axis with IB held as constant. The graph is obtained as here this is the graph of IB equal to 20 microampere and this will represent the case IB equal to 40 microampere. Using this graph, output impedance can be calculated. Before that, for this IB, this constant value is 10 milliampere. For IB equal to 20 microampere, the IC value is 5 milliampere. Now, output impedance can be calculated. Output impedance R0 is equal to change in output voltage by change in output current that is delta VCE by delta IC. Now, by combining both this input kara as well as output kara, current gain can be calculated. Current gain beta is equal to change in collector current by change in base current. Delta IC by delta IB. Approximately, delta IC is equal to 5 milliampere. Delta IB is equal to 20 microampere. So, beta is obtained as approximately 250 which is a high value. This is all about input characteristics as well as output characteristics. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.